How's it going, everybody? It's Eddie Mack, the lead voice of the CAW Champions League. And this is a special edition of DCA Livewire. This is the pre-show for Queens of Wrestling, the multi-league virtual wrestling women's showcase. And we have a few guests here, and I think it's the first time I'll be commentating with you guys. Well, it's not, it's not here the first time, uh, Eddie Mack. The first matchup comes out from WCW. We got Charlotte. She's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Cena. That's going to be a huge matchup. And we're going to start out with the first one. Here we go. Thanks for the introduction, guys. Oh, sorry about that, Josh. I wasn't even hey. supposed to be here tonight. But you're here, and that's good. We're, we're happy to have you. Here we go, guys. Well, thank you, Eddie. I, I don't know if Carter's happy to have you, but... <laughs> Carter's never happy to have me here. As of tonight, this is the WCW Showcase match. Carter and Lee, that you are very familiar with. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that's watching this match. The, the, people, the people who won WCW, they call themselves the people in control. They're watching this match very close. Our first of course... First, of course, the daughter of the legendary nature boy, Ric Flair, Charlotte. Absolutely. Charlotte's mother has probably been, you gonna do it, do it with Flair. She's gonna need a lot of Flair, she's gonna face off against Cena. The warrior princess making her way down the aisle. She's probably one of the most toughest women that WCW has to offer. Uh, this is like WCW's version of China when you think about it. When you look at the way that she fights. That's a very good, that's, that's a very good analysis. I think Cena is probably one of the most toughest women. Like I said, Cena believes that her name should be up there with the Chinas of the world. The Seven Day Rays of the world. The Morgan Wayne Crops of the world. Cena wants her name to be on top of them all. Well, I'm not sure if you necessarily want to be in the same sentence as China concerning, you know, the direction of China's life in the last year. Oh, have you yeah. seen the last right. movie, The hey, Wall of China? Oh, God. Oh, oh, God, no, no. One no. night in China, apparently. No, no. And we signed out this match to my way, folks, that Xena is getting, Xena's in full control, what, kick? Hey, I had a really clever idea on my mind, and freaking Eddie over there threw me off guard. <laughs> Zena's in full control. Charlotte with the knife reversal. Charlotte, the son, I mean, the daughter. I don't know if I'm oh. son. <laughs> the daughter of Rick Flair, the nature boy. <laughs> it's okay, Carter. We're all a little excited tonight. And this will be the first, this is one of the biggest events in CAW history, as for the first time, an all-women's multi-league event. This is legendary. Absolutely. Now Charlotte in control. Zena has Charlotte in the headlock, though. Oh, and a huge body slam. Oh, oh Zena is up there at the top. Zena, look at this. Oh! oh. Oh, he'll kick it. Down goes Charlotte. Charlotte is in trouble right now. And Zena's throwing Charlotte against the ropes. And Zena, you know, Zena, she's a pretty big woman, but she can fly around pretty well, I've noticed. Absolutely. Like, like I said before, the women, the people in control here in WCW, I mean, the people in control at WCW, they want to see who has what it takes to be WCW's women's champion. Wait, 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 I'm sorry, the the people in control? Yes, the people in control. That, those are the people that won WCW. They had no name, they just called them people in control. Uh, are they, are they somehow, are they, are they any way related to the powers that be? Well, uh, let me put this, let, let's put it this way. Ever heard the anonymous GM? Oh, man. That's how kind of they called themselves the people in control. They don't want people to know who they are. Guys, guys, looks like we're doing a little bit of cross-branding here. Wrong event to do it. <laughs> and right now, meanwhile, back to this matchup. Xena is in full control now. Charlotte needs to find somebody to get back in this matchup. Xena from behind now. Has her and a back suplex dropping her on the back of the neck. Mm. All, all joking aside, uh, Philadelphia, the Wells Fargo Center, in for a treat this evening. Absolutely. Philadelphia, one of the most, one of 
my most personal favorite towns wrestling wise and you know these fans love pure wrestling and so far they've been here pr longer than than us uh -oh. and we have hang really on, Charlotte so oh, wow. across body but some of these fans have been here longer than we have because they're just so high we have fans here from all over the world coming here to witness history in the making absolutely and Zena with the nice with the nice bulldog Charlotte's in serious trouble like I said uh oh this match has pretty much been all Zena when you look at it. Like I said, Zena wants Zena wants to make a statement. Oh, what a DDT! Zena wants to make a statement here tonight. He's making one out of Charlotte. It looks like. Absolutely. I think mean, scooping a slam by Zena. Absolutely. Sorry about that. Uh oh. Zena calls herself the Warrior Princess. As I said before, Zena wants. To prove that she is the top dog in all of car. Good lord. You, know, Curtis, you brought up some pretty pretty impressive names earlier comparing Xena to her. Xena really wants to stand up with those names. You know, Morgan Raycroft, Sarah Ray. And those girls are pretty much the most dominant woman of the modern era. Do you think that she can stand with them? Well, uh, uh oh. What is she doing here? Oh, man, what a roundhouse kick. <laughs> That's a wrap. That man is your question. She knocked the breath out of me. That is, yeah, whoa, that, she is not going for a cover. What is this? What, is, what a combination. What the hell? Oh, man. Good Lord. That might do it. I think Charlotte's done. Give me one, two, but no, Charlotte sticks in it. I give Charlotte credit. Charlotte is fighting. She wants to send a clear message to the people in control that, hey, Zena's not the only one that wants to be women's champion in WCW. Now, so this is my first time commentating one of Zena's matches. Oh, I've seen her in the past. This is my first time commentating it. And I got to say, I'm nothing if not impressed. But so far, Oh, I take that back. I looked like Charlotte was going to take control, but Zena has been going to town on Charlotte since the get-go, guys. And mind you, Charlotte's one of the more accomplished women's wrestlers in recent memory. Absolutely. Look at Zena. Zena throwing shots at Tom Buckle. What is Zena doing? Let's go too soon. Yeah, Charlotte. In control. Uh oh. Charlotte now in control. Of this matchup. This is this is the first bit of significant offense Charlotte's had in this match. Charlotte doing a little bit of dirty play, but you in the ring with Zena. You got to find somewhere to stand this matchup. She's the daughter of the dirtiest player in the game. That's understandable. And Zena rolls to the outside. Charlotte rolls to the outside. And now we got battle right out here on the floor. I tell you, I'm pretty sure the people in control are watching this matchup very closely. And uh oh. Go oh my oh. God! Thanks. <laughs> I hope she, can she get up to the count of 10? Because that referee is counting. That shot is on the feet. One is to the ring. I, I don't know how Charlotte's still alive after that. I don't know. But Xena is back in control. And I think, oh boy. Yes, yeah, Xena back in herself at the end, guys. Oh. oh, that's gonna do it. We got a one, we got two, we got three, and the match is over. A dominant performance by Zena. Absolutely. You gotta admit, Zena put up a valiant fight. You had Charlotte put up a valiant fight here, but in the end, when you're in the ring against a woman like Zena, you don't stand much of a chance. Good point. And I think she has impressed the people in control. One point, I think she probably might have impressed Sarah Del Rey and Morgan Raycroft who was watching this from their homes. I'm not going to lie. That's a match I kind of want to see. Absolutely.
for the victory for Zena. And she's hoping that the people in control have been watching this matchup. And we are... We have returned. This is DCA Livewire Special Edition. This is the pre-show for Queens of Wrestling, which is followed, of course, by the main show. And we will run down the card. Following this match. How you expected now, weren't you? Professional hmm. commentary. <laughs> this is a number one contenders battle royal six. Bombshells from CCL will fight it out for an opportunity to face the CCL Women's Champion on Adrenaline episode number 80. Here and we go. here. So, uh, here. I think for this match, I will swallow my pride and uh, uh, maybe may, may, may a pill. But uh, <laughs> I think for tonight, I will swallow my pride because this is one type of matchup I do not have expertise skills on knowing this is the this is a one time only event ladies and gentlemen but i think i'll leave the expert commentary skills to eddie mac over there i am an award <coughs> i am an award-winning commentator after what yeah <laughs> wait a minute FBH, fbh best guest commentator season one so you stole my trophy i did i have one sports <laughs> throne they robbed me of my right for running <laughs> <laughs> As you oh. see, Tammy oh, about to get ready to enter into the ring. Ooh. Tammy. Oh, oh, oh God, God, Carter. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tammy, a former five-time XGWL Women's Champion, but oh. has found minimal success <laughs> in CCL, and she has been with the company since day one. I, I should go ahead and apologize for Carter's behavior tonight, Eddie. Oh, yes! <laughs> here comes Sapphire, she makes her way down here. The younger sister of Atlas Jones. She's, she's, got the, she, she's got the championship pedigree, but she hasn't quite gotten the success. Not yet, not yet, but she's uh, yeah. inside. And she's a very talented wrestler. As yeah, she is. Tra she is trained by her older brother, the former DCA World Heavyweight Champion, along with many other accolades underneath his belt. Don't ask me what they are, because I don't know what they are. However, I do know that she has learned a lot. She does incorporate a lot of his moves into that match, and that time trial looks very familiar. Mm-hmm. And out next is a former SCA Queen of Roses, The Kid, who uh, made her first appearance at DCA not too long ago. Wait a minute, did we see this kid at, um... Sacred Ambitions? No, 
Was the second one Benjamin pulled that was out? true. That was true. Oh. We did see her make her unofficial debut. Uh. Yeah, she did another Taylor Star. Oh, Car, yeah. she did more than a number. I'm pretty sure she took one of the R's out of Star. I'm pretty sure she left uh, Taylor Star saying, hit me baby one more time. I'm pretty sure Star, Taylor Star was not saying that. Carter, please do not make me have to get the spray bottle. This is a worldwide history making event. Do not make us do this, especially in the condition you know I'm in. Oh, we're done there, contestant. Here is La... Making a way down here. This is La Bella Italiana, Sofia Giovanni. Also has been in CCL since day one, but... Believe it or not, has never won a championship. Baby, how you pronounce the last name? Giovanni. Gotcha. Like, uh, Giovanni Bernard of the, uh, Cincinnati Bengals. Oh, I get it. I got me. I like the thing. She does got the looks. Oh, oh yeah, Carter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, did you know, Carter? Uh, she is a former model. Oh, God. Oh, you mean... Why are we going back? You mean like my queen over on Sudden Impact, the, the queen of Sudden Impact, too? Oh, okay, I get it. So she's, so she, she must have worked in the same business as yes you can call me a modelist <laughs> i wasn't calling you my sister we all know who i'm talking about but this is not my personal place to show show off uh, and here is the self-proclaimed beverly hills bitch juliana ooh, fonts i know her i like her i know juliana her. fontana the fans hate her for, I mean, for some reason, but I've grown to like her a lot. So this was Tiffany's agent. Yes, it was. And I, that reminds me, I need to get into contact with her. Uh oh. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you'll fit right in to be Eddie Monster. Or Herman, even. I'm the Mick Monster. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> I've been looking oh, for a nickname. Uh, um, an interesting little nugget, uh, Tam, uh, Juliana, the tag team partner of T of Tammy, known collectively as Bitches, and here is the final competitor. Yeehaw! Oh my god, Carter. Wait a minute, wait a minute, time out, time out, whoa, slow the roll, flag on the play. Whenever, whenever we have Ray Geddes come out here, you always accuse him of insulting the white race and all Southern people. But when you, we have a girl coming out in Calper, you go, yeah, really? <laughs> You're not even country. Wow. I'm from Miami and I'm more country than you. Uh, that, that was kind of racist, Carter. <laughs> she, she, she came out in the cowboy hat. <laughs> Maybe that's a time to go. Just, just, just stop. She just should be on, she should be on that. Just stop. Slow down. <laughs> you're, you're just, you're just digging a bigger and bigger hole for yourself right now. John Wiles oh. is on, is on line one for you. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, as this match is kicking off, we already have two women on the ropes. And it is both members of bitches, believe it or not. Tammy on the uh, on the apron and Juliana leaning on the ropes there, man. Something about that name that really speaks to me. Oh man. I don't know what it is. Something about this Texas oh. outfit is speaking to me. I gotta go. Oh my God, Carter. Yeah, of course. When it's a woman, when it's an attractive woman dressed up as a southerner cowgirl, then you like it. Way to not show your biasm. Anyway, back to this matchup at hand. Uh oh, Sapphire Johnson is in danger of being eliminated here. So is the kid. So, I want to say Sapphire Johnson is going to win this, but, you know, my, my future manager is in there, guys. Future manager? Why would I not want to sign with the best? Uh, let's see, because, um, how can I put this? She, she sucks at her job. You kidding me? Look at where she got Tiffany Clark. My like base is all of job. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Tiffany Clark getting well, well, a title shot. Carter. 
something that uh you would not know. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, got Sammy, back down the no. Yeah, Sammy oh, might be. Sammy. Oh, Sammy. Sammy's gone. Oh, no, man. No. That was fair and square. Mm-hmm. Sticking a square. Cowgirl. Hey, and Sapphire. Woo, she hangs on as does Dixie. Oh, man. Not Queen B. Uh-oh. And oh, Juliana barely hanging on. The kid, I think. I, I, I forgot to ask about her name. The kid, that's her name. No, no, I'm talking about the one. I'm talking about the Texan. Dixie Clements. Uh -oh. I think it's best if you don't know her name, Carter. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come Wait a minute. On. She's probably up Dixie on the Columbia. top row. Uh oh. Come on, you don't know Dixie Clements? Only one of the most accomplished women in the history of virtual wrestling? Yeah, I get that, Nate. Only Southern women can call themselves Dixie. What? The... I, 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 I'm legit offended now. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, look at Sapphire. Oh, Sapphire with the Dominator! What? We, did we just saw a double rush in Lex? We did, we saw it connect to perfection, too. As oh, Jim, about to be eliminated oh, here. The kid hanging off with, uh oh, kid hanging on, and the kid Kid's is out. Gone. She's not the only one. And there goes Jim's funny. We're down to three. My uh -oh. God. Oh, 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 baby, this is a little bit of a team action here. Who's in trouble? Uh oh, Sapphire Johns trying to hang in this matchup. Oh, and she holds on for dear life. Man, that's... And the winner gets a CCR Women's Championship match on the drill in episode 80. Wow. That title, will be on the, that title will be on the line at Future Shock as Naughty defends against Taylor Star and Black Widow in a three-way dance. Yeah, you know oh. something, Eddie? These women have got to make CCR proud. Oh, oh that's making you proud. In more ways than one, Josh. In more ways oh, than one. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. I was hoping he was going to tell me to oh, shut oh, up. Oh, oh. oh, wait a minute. Oh. In this matchup. Boy, she is just sticking around. It's kind of hard getting rid of this woman. Well, sometimes all you have to do is stick around and, you know, you have a chance, right? Yeah, that's true. has never held a championship before, and she's looking to make her brother proud. If she wins this match, it goes on to win the CCL right. Women's title. Yep, man. I'm about to say, yep, your man's about to say goodbye. My man? Your manager. I thought he said my man's about to say goodbye, so I said, what do you think me as? Okay then, Frankie Gwandy. No offense to those people, by the way. I, we don't want to offend anyone else that we haven't offended yet. And Sapphire from behind. Oh, oh, oh. oh. that man gone. This had to be a kill's beat on the base beat construction surgery by time. This is over. Sapphire of a drop kick to Juliana, and Juliana staggered. She uh -oh. might be going out here. She's fine. 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 She survives. Carter, please do not bounce off of that. I'm on. Okay, thank you. Mm, there's enough people bouncing off of it as he is. Oh my god. Yeah. She's got it. Don't worry. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Juliana hanging on once again. This just seems a little unfair, guys. Why is this unfair? Getting teamed up on. It's wow. obviously... Oh, this is every oh, man for himself! These every aren't... Oh. oh, there goes Juliana. We are down to two. Um, another manager? Oh. Uh, but down to Sapphire and Dixie. One of these two will get a shot at the women's title. On the drone episode 80 next month. Ooh -hoo. I'll be the first Ooh. one to tell you, if Dixie win this matchup, I'm going to be on the next episode of Hee Haw. I think you mean adrenaline. 
No, you never seen a, you never seen that classic TV show Hee Haw before. That sounds racist. I, uh, never mind. I don't know what uh, Sapphire is doing. Trying to call Sapphire a timeout. Dixie. Sapphire and Dixie. Hmm. One of these two is going to be the number one contender for the CCL Women's Championship. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Dixie. Uh, well. Oh, there she goes. There goes Sapphire and Dixie. Clemens is your winner. You got to give a grand, Josh. She has performed well tonight. Oh, Sapphire yeah. I she, I this really think so. What a matchup. What a battle royal we saw. Take another look at what went down during this match. Here are the eliminations. I mean, Tammy was the first one eliminated. Then the kid was gone. Followed by, is it Giuliani? Gi uh, Giovanni. Giovanni, thank you. And then... This is Juliana. People to give in this woman. And then came down to Dixie and Tammy. I mean, not Tammy, yeah, Dixie, Sapphire. Dixie and Sapphire. And Dixie came out victorious. What a match. And it, indeed. And it will be Dixie Clemens that gets that CCR Women's Championship match on a drawing episode eight. But ladies and gentlemen, we are just moments away from one of the biggest, one of the biggest events, I think, in virtual wrestling history. You're right. It is. You're right, Eddie. Now, folks, this is a real Divas Revolution that you're going to witness here You tonight. little ass. Oh, my God. Ah, right, come on. It's not a revolution. It's a resurgence. But call it what you will, but this is a huge night tonight. And we would like to thank Pennywise for, for the song Revolution, the official theme song for Queens of Pro Wrestling, available wherever music is sold. And kicking off tonight, we're going to have a number one contender's ladder match for the double X title. So, uh, so that featuring NJCW talent, which I ran out of time, so I apologize. <laughs> Got we got Sailor Moon facing off against Seth Lala. Nene. That is love. Yes. Gotcha. And also, some of the fastest rising talent in Call Wrestling Woman's history, Tori McLeod will go one on one with Summer Rae. Representing WTW. Represent Battle Club. Tasha Von Dance gonna go one on one with where well, I think with Christine. I can't pronounce the Christine, name. Christine De La Vega. Thank God you. Damn it. Also representing and, Allison. Ah, representing down bro. Allison Simone takes on down by Martin. God damn it. Professional counter, you guys. <laughs> representing Terra Dome Championship Wrestling Asterisk. My art. Grace Sella will take on perhaps the face of TCW Asterix, Danny Gibbons. From CCL. The bombshell side will be on the line in a ladder match as Cleopatra Spinks defends against Shadow. Absolutely. But also featuring Wrestling Gray, Shellfire takes on Addison Gray. Representing Fusion Pro, it will be Fantasia Cosmica taking on Candice Romero. Wow, that is a setup for the looks of it. That's going to be a dangerous setup from ACW. Oh, wait, two names are can't pronounce. The Glamour X will be on the line as Rachel Hill Moral defense against Oscar Kazama. Also, the DCA and Women's Championship will be on the line, representing the Destiny Championship Alliance. Vanessa Price, Lady Beast Mode, defending against Shelby Danes in our main event. 
live in just a few minutes right here on Hitbox TV. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you are ready for the biggest event in call history to date. Absolutely. Josh, Eddie, we can't wait to see this show tonight. And folks, okay. we, cannot, we cannot wait for you to see this show. And we do invite you to please stay tuned because it's coming up.